I'll just so I've loaded up SketchUp already, and I'm on I'm on my Windows machine, so things will be a little bit different, or they'll they'll just look different, but everything's basically in the main in the same place. But um, you'll probably get asked to select a template to begin with, so just um, select whatever one you want. Um, uh, I think I picked architectural design millimeters or something like that. Uh, so how do we import those 3ds files? Um, so I made um, on the blog I made a link under year two and in um, studio one it's under uh, spatial body scans I think because I uploaded them all uh, to the blog all the all the models. So yeah, you should see this image, and then underneath there's this link to body scan digital models. And it'll open the the directory on the um, on the website, and so you'll find all your models here. So you can see the size of the OBJ files is 46 megabytes, which is quite large, and the 3ds files are are quite small. So that means it's just um, easier to deal with. So I'll just open the uh, the space mat space one, and um, I'll just save that to the desktop. Uh, so it should be there now. And then in SketchUp, you just um, go file, and then it'll be import. And then I'll put it, go to the desktop, where is it, mat space. And there will also be an options um, thing on, on that dialog, on the open import dialog. And that means you can sort of change the scale of it. Uh, so I think what the connect body scan, I think it made it in millimeters, so we'll just, we'll just leave it in millimeters and then go open and then it'll load up and then on my machine it wants me to sort of place it somewhere so I'll just put it on the origin I don't think it does that on a Mac so you probably won't have to worry about it cool and there's your weird blobby thing cool so it looks kind of um, weird now so how do we how do we make it look a bit cooler um, so one trick is to press Z once and then you can like type in a number so I'll just type in um, 90 and it changes the field of view so that means we can sort of see a bit more when we're inside something or when we're in an interior space so we can get a bit, bit more of a sense so no field of view would be like like a flat sort of view so I'll try that now, I'll try uh, try like 10 or something and see how it sort of zooms in quite flat but if I do 120 it sort of shows you everything it's basically like a fisheye lens or something like that and how do we change this stuff um, and up in window styles and then also under window shadows uh, two sort of dialogues you want to sort of start playing around with so here's the styles one and where's the shadows one let's see if it was open, here it is so I'll mess around with the shadows first so to turn the shadows on or off is that thing but because we're inside it's just going to be it's just going to be black, like there's only one sort of window in this, in this one which is up the top so it's just going to be dark so what I'll do is I'll just check on this box here, use some for shading and that it's probably hidden to begin with and you have to press that sort of um, arrow plus thing so just check that and now we can start sort of moving these sliders up and down and like getting some like contrast and, and uh, depth and stuff so I'll probably just, I'll just max those out and then sort of move the time of day around and you can sort of see it changes stuff so it gives you a bit of, a bit of sense of the form of the in interior space 
but it's still kind of being over, like dominated by these lines quite a bit. So to turn the lines off, you go up into styles and then just hit edit. I think it's this first box here. Yeah, and you can just turn the edges off. So it's sort of looking alright. It's a bit weird. But maybe I want I want the edges there a little bit maybe. But um maybe I want them a bit a bit lighter. Oh, that's kinda of, kinda of strange. Or maybe they're maybe they're a colour or something. Maybe something like that. And then you can change the colour of the faces as well. Uh, with uh, that second box and then uh, just change the front colour so that's kind of not really working or if it's like this or something so you can sort of play around a bit get some different things happening uh, I kind of liked how it was white and then uh, yeah, you can change the sky colour, so maybe I want it real blue. And then it'll show there. And um, I think I'll change those edges. And if you want to try render it out, you can use Indigo. And that'll be in a little toolbar that's up up in this top corner here, so it looks something like that and to begin with you can just hit this icon here and it will tell you what it's doing down the bottom oh and something didn't work I'll just turn that off and I'll try it again is that doing anything? Or is it too? It's quite dark. Because there's only one window. And I guess maybe because it's like in the morning or something, right? Oh no, it's at noon. That's not a very good example. But uh, if we do it from the outside, it would probably work. But yeah, so. Um, that's sort of how you import it. Just send the file import. Awesome.